Mr. Eggplant presents... Hey guys, Tyler here, bringing you another episode of Couples Minecraft. That'll be episode 14. And in this episode, unfortunately, it's just going to be one half of the couple. Uh, Haley's off doing some homework, so I will be the only one here today, which is no problem. And in today's episode, we'll be working on my villager prison... That way, the, you know, the villagers don't actually get themselves killed, because I've lost quite a few of them recently, and I want to definitely change that. And let's see, I'm just getting all my materials. Uh, I got this uh, idea from uh, Mark's video, which is um, Adults Only Minecraft, and I'll link that micro tip uh, video in the description below. And I would definitely suggest checking out his channel. He has a lot of nice stuff and a lot of uh, streams that he does quite often during the week, so definitely go check him out. So let's kind of head over here, and this has been previously not shown on any one of my videos, so I definitely wanted to get that on there. It's kind of, uh, it's connected to the church, as you can see, which you can actually, <laughs> made a mistake, and you can still walk through there, so I need to change that. Watch, I'll get attacked from behind or something during the video, that'd be always nice. But, see, there's just the little arches here, and then you come in here, and this will be where the actual prison is. So i kind of got a... Uh, I think it's a farm above this, so I need to make sure and fill that in. So, without further ado, let's let's get to work on this. So I know that I kind of laid, as you can see, I kind of laid out some some different things that I want to make sure and put in. So I'm going to get rid of all this grass and replace it with wood. And I know I'm going to go ahead and use full uh, chunks. I mean, or full planks, excuse me. Uh, I have lots of trees, so it's it's not the end of the world. If I was trying to be, you know, consumer friendly, I definitely would want to use the whole thing, or only the half slabs, but, ah well. So we get to work over here. And I'll, try, I'll probably be cutting back and forth so I don't bore you guys to death with this little build here. Okay, that's close enough for now. I've got a bunch of different ideas for our, our server here, but haven't really been on too much to start putting them together. So let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do this. Do, do, do. Jump, jump, jump. Oop, I'm in mistake already. There we go. So let's find my crafting table. There it is. Oh, threw that down. I do that quite often. I guess I didn't really need the crafting table for that. Oh well. So it looks like here is where I'm going to put the corners of each of the cells. It's going to be uh, where you can only get into it from the sides here, I think, is what I'm going to do. But, okay, there's that. I'm going to think right here in the middle of each one of them, I'm going to end up putting some sort of bars so they can see out. You can kind of taunt them a little bit. I guess that, that's horrible to do, but, you know. Oh well. Uh, let's see here. Probably want to get rid of this wall, and I'll probably just bring this wall flush. Oh, I could probably just leave that one. One less thing I have to worry about later. Bring that all the way up. And bring that up there, and then I'll, yeah, I'll cover that up, because that kind of goes into our little uh, library slash enchanting table room. Okay, so one there, one there, that's even, right? Yeah. Put some bars there, then one there, and then save two. And I'll probably, I'll get rid of that here in a little bit, but for kind of forgot about that, I won't lie. Then this needs to go all the way up to the ceiling, because then I'll, I'll fill in the ceiling too, because I know the ceiling is kind of unsightly right now. Okay, so one, two, three, four. I think we're fine. Give me my shovel here. I'm actually going to be nice and give them wood floors. Kind of just gives it a different look. Not your your typical prison. Let's see. Actually, I think I'm going to... I think the way he had his build... Fill this in there was that he had the bars. So the whole point of this is to not only keep them safe, but to be able to trade with them as well. So I'll do something like this here, up there, 
then I think he brings it up and across. Because I don't think they yeah, they can't jump over these just like players can't. And I probably didn't need that top one. But, oh well. Alright. We'll kind of take this on up. Take that over. And yeah, it looks good. I think it looks good. And I'll definitely, uh, I'll just fill it in now. Why not? There we go. Very nice. And uh, I like this kind of like this is a little hallway here. I haven't figured out if I'm going to put some sort of, you know, painting or something just to just to brighten up the room with because I usually whenever I do paintings, I put glowstone behind them. That way it kind of hides the glowstone because it doesn't really look the greatest since I'm in vanilla Minecraft. Then, okay. Yeah. So, if I would try to Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I can jump over that. I didn't know if I could or not. That's probably why it was only, yeah. That would probably be a good reason. Do, do, do. Change this up just a little bit. Have to bear with me here. Because otherwise they could jump through that. But if it's this tall, they can't. See? Uh, there you go. And then I'll, I'll definitely get a get my villagers over here pretty soon. Let me finish this up real quick to give you guys kind of an example of what it's going to look like on the inside. I'm sure I'll decorate it and all that fun stuff. I just want to make sure and get the, the general layout first. Okay, got to make sure I can get out of here after I'm done. It's kind of dark in here. Definitely need to light that up so nothing spawns. Okay, cover that up there. That all been really covered as well. And I can cover that up. And one more here get rid of this here put my boards down kind of small cells but you know I kind of like it and then of course we'll give them a bed because I'm not a they're not in jail because they're in trouble or anything they're just in jail because I want to keep them alive okay where, where's the best place to put torches you think Probably I'm just going to put them here on the back wall, and I'll have, I think I'm going to do two two uh, villagers per cell, so I'll put another uh, the bed over here. Uh, I'll fill in this in while I have the chance, and I'll fill in that gap there. One, two, one, two, and one up here. I guess I could probably fill this in real quick. I I wanted to make sure and do this for one. I didn't want to see the uh, the dirt, but also I wanted to. Um, you know, just make it look a little bit better, a little bit cleaner. Alright, so it looks like that's probably what this is going to, each of them is going to look like. I'll, you know, I'll probably change a few things here and add some details and everything, but I will be right back with the finished product. And I'm back. It took me a little bit longer than I anticipated to finish the prison, but let's go check out my handiwork. I had to go and farm a bunch of resources a bunch, so I didn't, I definitely didn't want to put that on the video. So as you can see here, I changed the this out here a little bit, the torches, give it a little bit different vibe. Added the sign, of course, it says Villager Prison. And you come inside here, and I went ahead and just did two for now. So there's this little walkway here. Kind of has the picture of the warden on both sides, which I guess would be me. So, self-portraits. And as you can see, you can see into the, the cells from this side. And as you can see, uh, I made them a little bit, you know, nicer than a normal prison cell would be, primarily because they're really not in trouble. It's just for their own safety. So there's that's would be a glowstone picture back there that I, had, I think I had talked about a little bit earlier, just so it would brighten up this little bit. And then there's some torches there on the top you can't really see. So there's two beds on each side, and this has. I'll show you how this works. So I can actually just talk to the librarian and trade him get some emeralds and then that also he can't get out and yet I believe I can reach them all the way in the back Let's see my cleric I don't have enough for that yet Let's see we have the Fletcher here which where I get all my arrows unfortunately it doesn't give you too many so I may have to farm a new Fletcher and then we have this one here that actually doesn't work it's supposed to be the the cartographer but for whatever reason you know, since I just, I just noticed it when I was moving them, 
because I used the uh, the boat method to move them to get them all down here, that he doesn't work now. So I'm not really sure what the heck is going on. But as you can see, there's two different cell types here. I wasn't sure, uh, you know, what would be what would be better. I did notice, however, with a cell like this, like this one here, they stand they tend to just kind of stand there in the back and so I can't actually reach them right now so I'm thinking I'm going to move towards this one but I thought I would show you guys the two different uh, layouts I had tried out and le leave me a comment what you guys think about those yeah I think I'm probably not gonna do this one because they do not like to come over here very often hey over here paper uh, him either maybe I'll have to bring this in one that that'll probably fix that problem for whatever reason they like to stand in the corners so that's the inside and as you can see over here I have a downstairs in case I want to expand I didn't finish that obviously uh, for one I didn't have the resources and I didn't want to have too much time in between one take and the next but that's what I'm working on right now if I decide to put another one in there I will and that'll probably be in another later episode Let's see if you let me trade again sure will uh-huh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, we got five emeralds out of the deal, so I'll have to go back to farming some more paper. Let's see, is it nighttime? Oh, that's probably why they're hiding, because it's night. Well, I'll do a quick rundown of some of the other changes, since this is kind of a, a dull episode. Uh, some of the other changes we've done on our island. Uh, we're still working on lighting the place up some more. As you can see, it's pretty bright now. Uh, we're going to continue to add more torches and that sort of thing. Uh, since we went to the nether last episode, which at any ep episodes after this one, we will be working in the nether some more. Uh, I just thought I want to take a chance and show you guys the the new prison that I had made. And that's where the nether wart's going to go. Let's see. I'm planning on moving all the, the animals soon. I'm going to probably do an underground uh, little spot for them. Let's see here. Oh, up here, this is all new. This is actually right above the prison. That's where the water was coming in at. This is actually where I was housing all the uh, the villagers for a while there. So this is, I haven't had a chance to actually cultivate this yet, but as you can see, we're just on top of the the prison. Then you come over here, and this is just kind of a walkway. And as you can see, I haven't finished putting up all the lights yet. Just something kind of nice to, to light the place up. I have this here, and it's another little walkway down to our dock. And then right here, actually I think I have some on me, yeah. This is where we're going to have our map wall. So I'll put some glowstone back here. Since we just went to the nether, I had quite a bit of it left, so. And then we'll just put our maps uh, of the region up here. So we will definitely be doing, starting to do that, you know, every time we go out from now on. I'll probably actually do a few of them before I actually put this video up, but I'm not really sure when I'll do that. And then as you can see here on the side, it's just kind of a, a nice little balcony type thing. Nothing really too fancy. I just thought it would it was something cool and I was wanting to have layers to our uh, our island here. I see you over there, skeleton. Oh, I didn't think that was actually going to hit him. Oh, it's shooting through the tree. That's weird. Wasting all my arrows that I just got from my Fletcher. One more. Well, I'm a bad shot. Okay, glad we got established that. And this is just kind of just wraps right around and then comes back into our city. So let me give you guys kind of a... Let's actually go up to the top, the highest point of our area, and we'll get to see what this place actually looks like. Because I haven't actually seen this lit up yet in quite some time, because I don't actually go up to the top of our uh, our lighthouse here. So let's make everybody dizzy and go around this real fast. And I think, is it starting to rain? I really hope not. It's tend to rain a lot more than normal. Yep, and we have a thunderstorm. And I fell. Lovely, lovely. That's why I put that down there at the bottom. I guess my character just kind of got scared by the thunder and the lightning. Okay. So up we go. Mind myself not to fall off this time. And now that we've been down to the, the nether, I can actually finish this, because I know it, it's not finished yet. I want to have some more uh, glowstone and stuff up here. So I'll, I'll, I'll work on that, and that'll definitely be something we'll, we'll show off in the next episode. 
or in a future episode, I should say. So this is pretty bright now. This is, you know, pitch black, and it's it's pretty bright. So that's exciting. Uh, look like you can see a few dark spots there that we I'll need to fill in. Probably put a put a ha little house or two. There is a creeper currently on my house. I do not like that. Oh, well, look at that. I'm not as bad of a shot as I thought I was. Whoa. Maybe I shouldn't be up here so close to the lightning. So I just thought I would give you guys kind of an aerial view of our world. Unfortunately, Haley couldn't be on, but that's no problem. The show must go on, as they say. So until next time, I will see... Ooh, not the back. The back of my character. Yeah. There we go. I will see you in my next episode. Bye.